Hello, welcome to our exploration of simultaneous equations. Many of you get a little intimidated by this because you haven't seen them since, let's say, middle school. So here's a typical simultaneous equation set of equations. We've got two variables and two equations. Of course, you can't find out the value of any one variable when there are two unless you have at least two equations. There are two particular ways that you can do a problem like this, combination or substitution. Let's start out with substitution. With substitution, we're going to isolate one of the variables. It doesn't matter which one we do, x or y. We could say x equals 6 minus y, or we could have said y equals 6 minus x. It really doesn't matter which one we use. Let's replace the x in the second equation with 6 minus y. So we can say two parentheses, 6 minus y plus 3y equals 16. Now we have only one variable in one equation, and we can just go about isolating that one variable the way we would do in any normal equation. So we have 12 minus 2y plus 3y equals 16. Subtract 12 from both sides. Combine the negative 2y and the positive 3y, and now we have y equals 16 minus 12, or 4. If we know that y equals 4, we can replace um, 4 for the y in either of the original equations. Let's take the first equation. And if we say x plus y equals 6, now we can say x plus 4 equals 6, so therefore x equals 2. So now we've solved for x, x equals 2, and we've solved for y, y equals 4. The other method for solving simultaneous equations is combination. And in combination, we either add the two equations together or we subtract one from the other. If you look at these two equations, we have 2x in one of the equations, but just plain old x in the other. We have 3y in one equation, and we have plain old y in the other. So we're going to need to multiply the entire first equation by either 2 or 3 so that we can eliminate one of the variables. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So we would say 2 times x plus y equals 2 times 6, and that is going to give us a new equation with the same values for both x and y of 2x plus 2y equals 12. Now we can subtract the original second equation from the first one. So we have 2x minus 2x will eliminate. We have 2y minus 3y, and that will give us negative y. And we have 12 minus 16 gives us negative 4. And now we'll multiply both sides by negative 1 to get y equals 4. And you'll notice we have the same value for y as we had when we did substitution. And that's all you need to know about how to use combination or substitution to solve a simultaneous equation.